It's back home for the Bobcats on Saturday, but before Ohio takes on Miami in football at Peton Stadium, let's slice up the Solid Show. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Ohio's 5-2. and two. They're 2-1 two and one in the MAC. Miami comes in to Peton Stadium on a ghost out ball game, a white out ball game for week eight of the season. Ohio 5-2 and two and 2-1. Two and one. Miami is 0-7 and 0-3 and oh and in the Mid-American Conference. We do it every Monday night at Donato's in Athens. It's the Frank Solid Show. Let's slice up the best parts of the show right now. Ohio did get the win 56 to 28. Frank Solitz, congratulations. It was a pretty nice ball game. Yeah, thank you. Um, definitely it um, was good to come back after the uh, loss to Central. You know, I, I think guys were were down a little bit, and uh, but they practiced well uh, this past week and, and I, I thought performed uh, pretty well. Obviously, there's still some uh, things that we can zero in on and get better at, but um, uh, but I, I, I like the positioning of our team right now and, and uh, their effort and what they've been all about. Tyler Tettleton set some individual marks mm -hmm. as well. 375 and four touchdowns, both career highs. He was, you say, locked in and in a zone. It seemed like he was locked in and in a zone. Yeah, you know, with his performance, he earned the MAC East uh, Offensive Player of the uh, of the game, and he's leading the MAC Conference in, in uh, uh, pass completion percentage which is a huge statistic. You know, if, if you're uh, leading the conference in, in the amount of percentage of throws that you have and in, in, in getting it done that way, you know you're making plays through the air. And so our passing attack, I think, is hitting uh, on a very high note right now. We have really quality receivers, some of them guys that have been around for a while and, and some young receivers now that are stepping forward. One thing that you talk about in getting better, run defense has been a strong suit of your ball club this year. Last two weeks, a little difficult for you. Uh, Central Michigan had a running back that, that had a big ball game. Bronson mm -hmm. Hill for Eastern Michigan, a good back, had a big one. What have you seen uh, from your run defense, particularly in that second half, and what needs to change mm -hmm. to get better? Well, it's a, you know, it's a little bit of, mi of a mystery. Um, at times we've played very, very good against the run, and, and, then, uh, and then there are times when we allow uh, huge plays, explosive plays. And um, so that's, that's got to get resolved, you know. Uh, we got to get more consistent um, uh, against the run. And, you know, that's, um, that's one way if you're, if you're going to put yourself in position to uh, win a football game. If you can run the ball against your opponent, you got a shot. And, um, and so we got to make sure that uh, we control the run um, better. We're addressing it as a staff. You know, we'll, we'll address it as a team. And... Uh, obviously, the results have got to show because uh, the MAC is full of top running backs and very good offensive linemen. And so, you know, we're, we're going to be faced um, with an abundance of those kind of players as we go through the rest of our season. Fashion news is big news these days. You guys have new jerseys coming out on mm -hmm. Saturday. Mm -hmm. As an announcer, the numbers are a little tough. But from a fashion standpoint, yeah. they look great. Your thoughts? Yeah, well, you know, when you're watching uh, film also those numbers will be tough to yeah, oh, uh, to identify players by numbers right and, um, but <clears throat> but you know it's um, it's a new look it's a clean look yep and um, you know we're, we're promoting a white out and so it all seems to make sense and you know Russell supplies us with it and yep. so it's uh, um, I think it's a good deal players always like to get a surprise like that sure. and, and um, even though it's not a surprise on the game day it uh, they, 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 they still were excited about it and and uh, you know and I, I think you know uh, hopefully we'll have a great crowd there and and um, everybody will be uh, dressed in white Frank Solich your thoughts first off on the rivalry yeah you know I've um, uh, in my career I've been around some great rivalries and uh, uh, understand what rivalries are all about um, the intensity that that comes from from uh, ha having a rival and um, you know it wasn't until I got here obviously that I started to appreciate the rivalry between um, Ohio and, and Miami it's a excellent uh, rivalry in all sports and, and it means an awful lot to a lot of people and I know it means an awful lot to our football uh, players and coaches and program from an X's and O's standpoint, things have changed a little bit, and I guess it's anybody's guess as to what they're going to do to piecemeal through the rest of the season. Uh, what have you seen from them on tape, and how do you prepare for this type of ball club? Well, you know, they, they seem to have changed offenses, and, um, you know, they were very much an option offense um, early part of the, the season, and they had just gone to that. They had abandoned um, what they're really about now again, you right. know. 
and uh, went to more of a, an option style of attack. Um, and, and so, um, you know, that didn't work uh, great for him. Uh, just looking at him on film here lately, they have potential, you know, and um, they, they can run a one back offense and spread people out and throw the football. And um, they have two different quarterbacks. Uh, you know, one um, is they're both tall, uh, heavy set guys that um, can be great drop back throwers. Uh, one's a true freshman, and, and there's starter, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's been around in the system for a while. And, and so, you know, they're, they're very capable. And um, I think they'll settle in on what they're doing and get better at that uh, as, as time goes on. Defensively, they're an Oki front type of defensive scheme uh, and, um, you know, uh, play pretty good defense if you look at the scores.